Hi, I'm Josiah with Cumulex, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to set up a Cumulex gateway from start to finish. Um, first, open the Cumulex box with your gateway inside. And you'll note we start with a quick message links to the setup video as well as the knowledge base if you need any assistance. Inside we also have a quick start guide which will walk you through the basic setup of the unit. And the actual server. This is a headless gateway. There's no need to connect a monitor or a keyboard or a mouse. On the back of the server, the main two things that we need is power, WAN, and LAN. And you'll see that those are labeled on top of the unit. So we're gonna go ahead and connect our WAN connection to the back right here. And we're gonna go ahead and connect our LAN connection to the back right here. And the LAN connection is the one that's going to connect to the cameras. The WAN is going to connect you out to the internet. And then you take the power cable that's included, plug that into power, give us power on the front, and then on the front of the unit you've got a switch, momentary press, the unit will boot up. It can take about five to ten minutes for initial negotiation and you should then be able to log on using all of the instructions to app.cumulex.io and see your gateway has turned green. Now that your gateway is turned on and connected to the network, you should be able to log into app.cumulex.io and you'll see under your gateway section that your gateway is green and online. The first thing that you wanna do is go into your places and we're gonna go ahead and create the customer this is going to go under. In this case, we're gonna call it Acme Inc. And we make sure that the type labeled is customer and hit okay. And then we wanna change the location of our unassigned gateway from unassigned gateways to Acme Inc. and hit okay. And then again, this type is now site because that is under the customer and hit okay. And you'll see yes to change. And now you'll see this has moved under Acme Incorporated. The next thing we wanna do is change our scope so that instead of looking at Josiah's integrator, we're looking at just the system we're making our configuration changes on. This ensures that we don't accidentally make any setting changes or add users into the wrong location. Then we wanna go into people and we could add a person by clicking the floating action button or fab on the bottom right and hit add. And here, the main information needed is the first name, last name, and a valid email address. If you want them to be able to log in to this interface on app.cumulex.io, you can select the login tab on the bottom and give them permissions based on what they're supposed to have access to. Once you've added that, then the next place to go is to take a look at your cameras. I've already added a camera here, but you would just select add, put in the IP address, username and password for the OnViv connection, and the camera should connect. When you open up this camera, you'll see that it gathers information on the camera. You can take a look at the image and the streams, and this gives you information about what streams are there and which are enabled. And then on the right-hand side here, you'll see the cloud storage option. And this varies from zero days stored on the cloud all the way up to 365. Once you've got the camera configured, you should be able to see it in the live view. When you go into the live view, we pick the layout, in this case, two by two, and we can just drag the camera over. And then if we wanted to, we could drag one of these widgets over that give us some information about the camera and what it's seeing or the system status and what's online. If I like this view, I can click on the fab on the bottom right and select save view and give it a name, new, new view and select okay. And then those views will show up on the right hand side underneath the views. The last bit is to go into the search and under this search, this will search for all events, including camera connect and disconnect. So we're going to limit this to motion in this case. 
and you'll see that we drop right down to the motion of these camera here. Uh, simply clicking on one of these will immediately start playing that event and it'll start playing your motion. You also have the ability to do a start and end time and a start window and end window, which lets you search for a specific segment of time within the date selected up top. If you find a search that you really like and you want to bookmark it, you can select the bookmark, save that, give it a name, and that will be able to, available for future searches. And if there are any questions on what kind of tags you can add, when you click the question mark on the right-hand side, you'll see that it gives a layout of all of the available tags. If you have further questions on setup, feel free to reference our knowledge base at cumulex.com slash KB or send an email to support at cumulex.com.